Hi guys, so I've literally just got back in my car to explain how I teach the lie down. I didn't really explain shaping that well. So I like to observe. I like to observe how my horses lie down, when they lie down and the the easiest way to get them to lie down. And I observed with Abrigo that the easiest way to get him to lie down was, well, every time I'd worked him and given him a bath, he would literally go and roll. So my theory was, hmm, I could shape that behaviour. That's the dog trainer in me. Well, the trainer in me. Um, so how I did that was simple. Listen. I literally gave him a bath after I worked him, had a handful of treats and some haylage and some feed at some point. And what I did was, as soon as he pawed the ground, um, I rewarded him. Then what I did, and if you watch the videos below, you'll see it, I then started pouring the ground and circling. So horses will mimic, and if they see another horse circling and, and doing that, they'll do it. And obviously, a Brigo knows I'm not a horse, but I would do that, and then I'd lie down. He would then copy, um, because he would always come and sit with me anyway. If I put a chair in the field, he'd always come and lie down next to me. So I knew it would work, in theory. Um, everything's in theory when you're training an animal. So I, at first, only rewarded the pawing and the circling. Then I started to only reward the pawing, circling, sniffing. Then I started to just wait, see what he did, and then he would paw, circle, and he started to go down. And as soon as he went down, I just chucked some treats down, just like I did in the previous video. Then what I started to do, once he was really good at that and he really understood what I meant, I then started to introduce whip tapping. Um, that doesn't sound that great, but trust me, it's literally just tapping the floor with the whip. Um, so I started to introduce a cue for him to then go down. Then, so with the tapping of the floor, what I did was I only started that when I knew he was going to lie down. Literally the second he was going to lie down, I start going tap, tap, tap on the floor. Then I'd reward him in the down and keep him in the down longer each and every time using food. Then what I did was I then moved the tapping from the floor to his leg. Um, and it was quite simple really he is super keen to learn he is super intelligent he loves to train and to him the whip isn't an aversive and that is the main thing the whip isn't used as an aversive so he doesn't see it as a negative in the fact that I don't hit him with the whip I don't really even use it for schooling um, it literally is just used as a target and yeah he didn't see it as negative so he quite happily listened to the whip listen to what I had to ask and we've got a brilliant down.